my sort of uh, enthusiasm for the performance part of it varies from night to night. So sometimes I might be quite animated, and other times I won't be. But I still enjoy the playing. You know, that is kind of what I get lost in. Aussie punk rock pioneers The Saints have just announced a tour and box set release celebrating the early years of their career. The deluxe edition of I'm Stranded features four LPs covering all recordings between 1976 and 1977, a full-colour photo essay, a previously unreleased 1976 mix of the album and heaps more. Here's a chat that we had with guitarist Ed Cooper. I'd love to talk about the box set, which includes a previously unreleased 1976 mix of the I'm Stranded album. I'd love to know about this mix and why it was previously, you know, not released. Yeah, um, it, it, yeah, it's, it's a hard, hard thing. It, it didn't, it didn't sound the way that I, heard the band in my head sort of thing you know like and i we, we had no real recording experience so you know there was there were things a lot of things that we could have done that we didn't know about but basically the the mix was maybe uh it, it's it's a little more conventional yeah than the released version of the record it's it has a wider stereo spread it has um the vocals are much drier, the guitars are softer in the mix. But it kind of, after all these years, it kind of sounds really interesting. You know, I mean, I'd, we, we made the point with the first album, but so here's this different way of listening to it, a slightly more traditional 1970s kind of mix as opposed to the mix that Chris Bailey and I did, which was sort of a bit of an extremist mix. Yeah, right. So after that first mix, going back into the studio, was it kind of hard to direct, like, to get to that sound that you actually heard the Saints as? No, we only had a couple of days to do it, so we managed. (laughs) Yeah. Well, that's good. So you were about to head on tour to celebrate the sounds that came out from the early years of the Saints. Have the meanings of the songs changed very much? Like, in your own perception now that you're performing them 50 years on there's there's a remarkable sort of permanency about those songs it's not just the songs it's it's the recordings themselves it's the performance in those songs like sometimes i think what makes them stand out is the way that we played them rather than what we were playing sort of thing and um i think that that is it's hard to encapsulate this actually um no no they 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 are what they are They, they they kind of stand you know in my memory uh as what they were then and and it's and they still sound like that now yeah you know obviously they still sound like that because they record things but um it i mean yeah no you've stumped me too early in the morning i'm sorry (laughs) um it's (laughs) they they haven't changed they they oddly enough to me they they haven't dated you know which which is i suppose you know what what you were up asking i could have just mm. narrowed all that down into no they 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 still stand as what they were whether they have a wider sort of relevancy to the outside world is a completely different question but the funny thing was that when we recorded them they didn't have a particularly wide re- relevancy to the world it took years for the those recordings to kind of actually find an audience you know, there wasn't a big hit at the time. And so emulating that sound now um, on stage, has it been hard trying to get back to those original sounds? Getting the sound isn't that hard. Um, it's it's maintaining the sound, you know, like it was a very energetic band. So far, rehearsals have been very good. It's, uh, you know, just it kind of, apart from forgetting how many bars were in, you know, a bridge or, that kind of thing. It, it's been pretty, pretty good. 
Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, look, you must love performing. What is it that, you know, keeps you coming back and getting on stage? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I really like performing. You know, yeah, I love it. I love playing. I, performing, you know, my, my sort of uh, enthusiasm for the performance part of it varies from night to night. So sometimes I might be quite animated and other times I won't be, but I still enjoy the playing. You know, that is kind of what I get lost in. Um, and, yeah, that, that has remained pretty consistent over the 853 years I've been. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hopefully that will continue for a while longer. Yeah, totally. Well, look, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. It's been such an honour to chat with you and I can't wait to see you here in Sydney on the 20th of November. Terrific. Thank you very much for your time.